hello, hello. Welcome to my huge channel. So I'm having to reboot my computer, so as it is warming up, so to speak, I wanted to uh, make a hopefully short video, shorter video. So I thought it was interesting yesterday that, so I actually made a video yesterday morning talking about uh, Roberto Greco samples I got and also those samples that I got from uh, Pineward the other day and so I'm at work and sometimes I have good con connectivity through my phone and sometimes not and so it took forever to try to upload and it just it conked out on me and so I just canceled the upload and I got busy and I didn't get back to it but then I saw that Persley's had and then I finally got better connectivity and then Persley's came on and one of the perfumes he was he really liked apparently this last year was that Roberto Greco rock and I just thought it was funny like he made he made a video right after I had made a video me talking about it and then last night when I got home I was uh I didn't watch the whole videos but I was looking to see all the people like it seems like in our little niche community you know, a fried kid world, you know, the sophisticated, like, I, I'm not a sophisticated nose, but a lot of the people I watch are, they, this is, this is a hype fragrance, apparently, right now, and I feel kind of silly talking about a hype fragrance, because that's not usually my jam, although sometimes I, ch like, I know I sought out that Delta of Venus by Eris, and there was a couple others that got a little hype, and I went and tried them out, but for the most part, I don't, I don't usually try to f oh mer that mer lilabo I tried, <laughs> but anyway so <laughs> I'm I I don't want to upload that video anymore because I have a new take on it so I'm very proud of myself because you know I have a, a semi addiction to um, purchasing things I'm very good like I haven't bought a handbag in three months over three months that's great perfume not I'm I'm not nearly so great about. And so yesterday, after I saw the Persley's video, I was gearing up. I was already at the PayPal stage where I was going to put an order in for the rock because that happened because so I did the video yesterday, but it was also my sin of the day. And lo and behold, like I was convincing myself that I really liked the perfume because so many people out there seem to really like it, or at least Persley's did. Uh, I know Rich Mitch did a video, Cheap Imitation did a video, uh, I feel like there was somebody else who did one, but you know, it, it seemed to be something to be had as limited edition, FOMO was kicking in, and w I'm so proud of myself because I realized I don't really like it. I mean, I, I appreciate, excuse me, I appreciate the value in it, i.e., like, I don't, anything that doesn't have, like, amber woods and the obnoxious, the obnoxious artificial chemicals out there, that's another thing I wanted to mention, so, I, I was, I've been talking about pine word in terms of, oh, it seems to have a lot of high natural percentage of, ingre you know, high, high natural ingredient percentage of ingredients, I still don't think that's the way you should, <laughs> somehow that sounds wrong, but anyway, but I think what's more than likely is that that just doesn't have, they just don't have the Ambroxan and the Isoly Super and the Amber Woods. And so my nose is registering that as naturals. Because his has a take, because so, his, so sorry, sorry, I'm all over the place. Sam put in a comment basically like, oh, I, you know, I've heard you talk about Pine Word, but I'm a little bit concerned about going down the natural path. And I get it because I know exactly what you're talking about. There is this natural I always want to say putrid but I don't mean putrid but there's something off it like on first spritz of naturals like you have to wait a little while to get to well you have to get past that initial spray to get to the scent and then the scents are always like you know not as long lasting as the artificial stuff so I got his hesitation but I think I think pine word in particular in all of these, and, and I say that, but in all of these, like if I don't smell that cheap garbage crap that all the companies seem to be foisting on the public, if they don't have that, I'm almost equating that as naturals. But 
come on, how, how natural can a cherry compote note be? Or, <clears throat> you know, some of the other um, notes that Pine Lord has. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, I, I really appreciate, so even though I really appreciated Rock for not, oh, I didn't even, oh yeah, I put it in this one because I got so, so yesterday. So, yeah, so I appreciate these Roberto Greco. I haven't tried the Porta Sapo, whatever, Sapo, Sapo. Um, yeah, so I've only done the Rock and today my scent of the day is how do you pronounce that? Ores? I don't know. But yeah, and I and so beyond beyond me happy that I didn't press play just because or <laughs> press buy just because you know there's a little bit of FOMO and it's limited edition. Like I what I was also realizing as I was talking about the scent is. So it's, it's, you know, it's highbrow, you know, it's like, it's, it's the, the company's run by some photographer artist and he's, you know, he's got lots of flowy literary words cobbled together to tell a story about how, <clears throat> actually I haven't read it enough. I, I, I've only glanced over the copy that he gave, but I, you know, I think I read some Kapler what is it, Kapler Le Bon article? So all like people talking and what I read and their copy have all been jumbled in my head. But you know the 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 scent itself is you know it's part animalic, part amber, part agrestic. Oh, that that word is kind of funny. Um, seems to be it seems to be the word of the day that I keep seeing and all. In, in a lot of reviews by people who want to sound very intelligent. I, you know, I really shouldn't talk. My, my vocabulary can be a little bit annoying as well, but that just seems a little bit too much with using agrestic all the time. I.e., it's like, it's a field scent. It's something that's barnyardy, or it's it's nature, it's barnyardy, it's, it's hay and grass and, and cow, <laughs> whatever. Um, but... So, okay, so it, that rock perfume has a lot of different facets to it. And so, and the literary flowery copy on it is like, oh, there, it's a blurry image. You can't really put your nose on any one uh, genre of perfume. And it's like I was buying into like the intellectual hype almost. Like, oh yeah, this is so superior, like intellectually stimulating that depending on how you like which note you tried to sniff you can have an entirely different impression of this perfume and just slightly uh, tilt your head just t slightly a little bit and you will see an entirely different kind of perfume and it, isn't it so beautiful and there's a blurry image of a flower and isn't that so grand you know what most perfumes are like that well maybe not most but there's a lot of perfumes that can do that and have differing you know juxtapositions of notes that they use like that's what makes perfume interesting you know if it was just a straight freaking amber you know you, you smell it and you go on about your business but I just thought it was funny that it wasn't just the FOMO of the hype that people were what that was getting to me it was almost like it was the intellectual whatever that was getting to me so phew dodge that bullet Two hundred seventy dollars, not down the drain for me, because I because I, I realized I'm not a big I'm not a great big fan of the whatever's in the notes. I did think the abrome in rock was interesting, so apparently that's a labdanum derivative, which is giving it its ambery facets, I'm sure. But then there's also that horsey something that people have been, you know, the whole double entendre with rock means horse and in, in French and then it also smells like you know it's animalic smells like a horse and the whole hay vibe and grassy vibe that it has I think that was I think that like there was no I don't think I saw notes of hay listed anywhere but I think it was coming from the Narcissus the Narcissus the Narcissus um yeah it was an interesting perfume and it was well made like I said but 
I just realized that I'm not. So the one I like a whole lot more, which is the, I'm saying it again, ooh. Oh, where's? No. Oh, oh, year? Oh, years? No. The eyeball one. <laughs> I'll just call it OI. OI is usually, or OEI. Isn't that usually I something in French? So the eyeball one. <laughs> I like this one. This one is more interesting to me. <clears throat> uh, and then, like, I swear. A dominant note in this sucker is Nagarmatha or Cipriol oil. It's not listed in the notes that I saw on Fragrantica. It's definitely more animalic for sure. Sorry, it's definitely more masculine, but I really like it. That's the one that apparently is sold out, and so I can't get it. So, hey, another $250 saved in my pocket that I don't have to buy. <laughs> so I will... I will uh, slowly uh, sip on these little samples that I have and be happy with them. But yeah, they so it has like a mushroom accord. Like the other one, you know, Rock also has a mushroom accord listed. This one does too, but I get the mushroom. It's, I get the mushroom here more from this mushroom hunter. I always want to say hunter, forager. Um, I forgot what else is in here. Definitely masculine, and that that whole separate like that is like the all pervasive thing. And it, this one doesn't seem to have as much development. It seems to be there from the beginning. Whatever this this dark, it's not burnt. Usually, and that's why I don't even know if that's what's in here. But because you usually when that note's in there, it's it's um spikier, I think. This one's very smooth and mellow in a weird way. So I'm like, I might be completely off, especially cause it's not listed anywhere. And you would think that a note like that would get listed cause it seems pretty prominent to my nose anyway. But yeah, it's, there's, um, maybe this also has hay in it. I'm, but maybe I'm just smelling like whatever mushroom accord they have going on I don't know uh but I like it better anyway um I'm done I think I'm done go forth and prosper folks this wasn't as short as I was hoping it to be but bye go forth and prosper